<laughs> Hello, everybody. It's Zero Gear Plus. And welcome to the latest project on the Zero Gear Plus channel. This is Let's Play Majora's Mask. The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. But I feel as though this game has such a legacy to it that you don't even have to qualify it as a Zelda game. It is very much its own entity, really. Uh, this is going to be a 100% playthrough of the game. I will be getting every heart piece, every mask. I will do every side quest. I'll be filling in the entirety of the bomber's notebook. You know, the kind of stuff that you should do when you play Majora's Mask. Because if you're not helping everybody, then what kind of heartless monster are you? Now, I didn't exactly have enough uh, dialogue to get through the entirety of the... Uh, intro sequence here, but I definitely wanted to see it all. So I'm not going into this game with exactly a plan on how I want to do things. I'm going to play the game as optimally as possible. I mean, I'm not going to... Are we starting early? Of course. You were fed. I just fed you. You have food over there. Well, I hope you guys don't mind that Gracie's along for the ride. Gracie, of course, is uh, manifesting my feelings and how I feel about this game's tonally dark shift to what we're witnessing before us now. Ain't that right, Skull Kid? Right. The Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask. I'm playing the uh I the Switch version. It's not really so much a version as it is oh no, I missed my opportunity. There we go. Let's go ahead and dive in. Uh I have a not so much a practice file. This is the file that I tried streaming a couple of years ago, if you guys remember the two uh streams I did of this game and I didn't finish, so I actually wanna pick this up and we'll keep on a going. Uh, G is back here. Not, okay. This, this is the pair of Joy-Cons that has the finicky, that has the finicky, uh, Joypad. That'll just make this interesting. Or I can always switch Joypads later. In the land of Hyrule, there echoes a legend. I started reading too late. A boy who... After battling evil and saving Hyrule, Cri I'm not doing this wrong, am I? Done with the battles he once waged across time. He embarked on a journey, a secret and personal jar. Are you kidding me? A journey in search of a beloved and invaluable friend. That wouldn't let me read it. A friend with whom he parted ways when he finally fulfilled his heroic destiny and took his place. Man. They don't want you to get a word in edgewise, do they? Well, to be fair, I think there was probably enough time, probably enough space to be able to read it in the original Japanese translation of the game. Now, I'm not going to act like we don't know what's going on here. This game's almost 25 years old. This is back before cutscenes were skippable. Not that I would want to skip any. This game's great. I have been wanting to play this game since quite literally after Chrono Trigger. That was years ago. But I figured that getting back into a Zelda game immediately would be a not such a smart idea. What you laughing at? <laughs> you two fairies did great. I wonder if he has anything good on him. Huh, this guy. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. What is this, Sonic the Hedgehog? Am I Jaleel White? No, I'm not. 
Let's flip you over, see what we can get a look at. Oh, what we got here? A sweet potato. Ooh, what a pretty ocarina. Hey, Skullkin, let me touch it. I want to see. You can't tail. What would we do if you dropped it and broke it? No way, you can't touch it. Aw, oh, but sis, why, why can't I try it out too? Oh, shit. Come here, you little... That's right, Link, you gotta get your thing back. And he also tried to take your horse. That ain't cool either. Since my last interaction with this game, uh, well, uh, aside from the, the streaming of it, since the last time I actually sat down to play through this game proper, I've had a lot of, and th this again, this was years ago, uh, probably close to 10 years ago. Um, I have had a lot of things, like this game has always been part of popular culture. And uh, we can get some rupees over here by hanging out over here and doing some stuff. Or maybe we can't get any rupees. We can get one. I don't need to grab any of these. I gotta get my stuff back. This is WarioWare, after all. A Wario World? Wario World. That's one of the things that's said on the inside of the introduction page when you read the in-game booklet. It's like, get my stuff back. All right. Into the tree stump. We go. And down into the hole we go. Since the last time I've had a chance to play this game, a lot has been spoken about it and just some generalized concepts. Uh, the, I, the last time I played this game was before the game theory episode about it, where there was the concept toyed with that this game was an allegory for grief. Comparing the fact to the Comparing the concept of the fact that Link might be dead. What's with that stupid horse of yours? It doesn't listen to a word that's said to it. There's no point in writing a thing like that, so I did you a favor and got rid of it. <laughs> Aw, boo-hoo. Why the sad face? I just thought I'd have a little fun with you. Oh, come now. Did you really think do you really think you could beat me as I am now, you fool? I didn't get a choice. I didn't I didn't hit a button there. That just happened automatically. Well, shit. My perfect physique. <laughs> now that's a good look for you. You'll stay here looking that way forever. Uh, sis? Skull Kid, wait for me! I'm still here! Tail, you can't leave without me! You! If I wasn't dealing with you, I wouldn't have gotten separated from my brother. Well, don't just sit there, Deku boy. Do something! Why are you looking at me like that? What, is there something stuck on my face? You just stop staring and just open that door for me? Please, come on! A helpless little girl is asking you, so hurry up. Oh, Tail. I wonder if that child will be all right on his own. So here we are. You'll notice my B button is uh, no longer with sword. 
I am now with fist, with the ballerina dense moves of the ancients. Screw you. Jerk. Hey, wait for me. Don't leave me behind. So, um, that stuff back there. I, um, apologize. So, so take me with you. You want to know about that Skull Kid who ran off, who just ran off, right? Well, I just so happen to have an idea of where he might be going. Take me with you and I'll help you out. Deal? Please? Good. So it's settled then. Now then, I'll be your partner, or at least until we catch that Skull Kid. My name's Tattle. So, uh, nice to meet you, or whatever. Now that we've gotten all that straightened out, can we stop messing around and get moving? If I figure something out, press up on the press up C or up on the right D pad in my case, and I'll tell it to you. Hopefully you'll manage to get by without any help until then. I'm with you, buddy. You and me all the way. Hey, if I call you, press up C right away. I can tell you're not very used to your Deku scrub body yet. All right, listen up. If you press and hold A as a Deku scrub while standing on a Deku flower, you can dive into it. If you wait a little bit before releasing A, you'll launch out of the flower. Press A while flying to descend. Did you get all that? I most certainly did, because I don't want to hear you say it again. Are you sure? One more thing. Press A. <laughs> One more thing. Press A when you're on the ground to perform a spin attack. Context sensitive. Now more than ever, we got to read what the A button does. Let me just drop down here. There's a little circle of bushes down there. There was one in the other room that probably had some rupees in it. Do I need them? No. So we can just keep on and move it. So, now that we actually have a bit of more of control and I can speak a bit more freely, if you've never played this game, I'm not going to spoil anything, uh, or have never really been particularly fond of this game, I'm going to make this as enjoyable an experience as possible, so I recommend sticking around. It's taken a little too long in the video for me to point that out now, but I hope you guys are willing to give this game a chance because this game is very, very well deserving of it. I think I can make that. I think I can make that, but I don't want to try it and look like a dummy. So, we're come over here and then we can come over this way. We can fly and just barely make it over to here. Yes. Uh, you'll notice. Hey, you, come on. Press Z and talk to me. There you go. See, you can do it if you try. When I fly over to people or objects, use Z to look at them so you so you can talk to them. Use Z targeting to talk to people even if they're far away. Or if there's no one to target, you can use Z to look straight ahead. But enough about that for now. Come over come over to this tree and check it out. Yep, I'm going to make this as uh, relaxed and casual a playthrough as possible while also doing a 100% run of the game. Uh, I'm not going to be going for any speedrun tactics necessarily, but uh, I'm just going to do things as they come naturally. Whatever seems would be a best time to do them. Or if I have a particular sequence of events in which I like to do certain things in the game, I'll do them that way as well. I skipped the first line of text, but it looks all dark and gloomy. Almost like you could start crying any second now. How sad. All right, let's get a move on. So it looks like we're stuck with Tattle for a while, or at least uh, gauging by her attitude, she's stuck with us. Man. No way back. We got a water wheel. We got some water here. This is a nice place. I could live. I could sleep here if I were Nintendo Capri Sun. I would say something like this. I don't know. Is this something? He, is this somewhere he said he would sleep? I would sleep here. All right. Let's get a move on. I feel like that's gonna be my go-to line in this game. You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? I own the Happy Mask Shop. I travel far and wide in search of masks. During my travels, a very important mask was stolen from me by an imp in the woods. So here I am at a loss. And now I've found you. Now don't think me rude, but I've been following you. For I know of a way to return you to your former self. 
If you can get back the precious item that was stolen from you, I will return you to normal. In exchange, all I ask is that you also get back my precious mask that the imp stole from me. What? Is it not a simple task? Why, to someone like you, it should be... It should by no means be a difficult task. Except... The one thing is, I'm a very busy fellow. And I must leave this place in three days. How grateful I would be if you could bring it back to me before my time here is up. <laughs> but yes, you'll be fine. I see you are young and have tremendous courage. I'm sure you'll find it right away. Well then, I'm counting on you. Ah, uh, more work. Fine. We'll find your stupid man. Well, we gotta find him to get our thing back in. We we'll just reason with him. We'll take the mask. It didn't look like something that would belong to him anyway. Pry it from his hands if we gotta. And welcome to home base, Clock Town. He gives me the creeps. That mask salesman was the... Sorry, just thinking aloud. But three days? Even if we never sleep, that still leaves us with a measly 72 hours. Talk about demanding. Well, don't just stand there. We're going to see the Great Fairy. Look, you want to find the Skull Kid, don't you? The Great Fairy will know what he's up to. She watches over everything. And just between you and me, the Skull Kid is no match for the Great Fairy. Go to the shrine near the North Gate, and you'll find the Great Fairy in there. All right. We're not going to do that quite yet. This is one of the situations I was talking about where uh, if I happen to have some sort of uh, sequence in which I like to do something, I'm going to go ahead and do it that way. This isn't necessary, and you can get a little bit of an in-depth lore description with, uh, or just be able to learn a little bit more about the lore doing it the probably the intended way. But I decided I'd come to the waiting washing pool first, and we can just get a move on with this. Hey, cafe. I'll talk to you later. One of the best side quests in the game is right there. We just passed it. But we can't do anything about it yet. So, I apologize to anybody that has never played this game that doesn't know anything about it. I will be talking about it very candidly. Uh, anticipating that, I mean, this game's 25 years old. I am going to talk about this game as though everyone watching this video has either seen, knows most of, or has played it before themselves. I am not going to hide anything, except I'm not going to spoil anything. Uh, I'm just going to talk about this game very plainly and bring up information that I have as it is relevant, even if that information is seemingly a little early. Um... I just won't draw upon, like, the, the finer details, but... Anyway, here in North Clocktown, we can go up into this little cave entrance, and this is the Fairy's Fountain. Oh no, the Great Fairy! Normally, you'd have to come in here and tell her... Come here seeking her guidance, and she'd be like, I'd love to help you, but, uh, the Skull Kid broke me into a bunch of pieces. So, uh, can you go find the missing piece and bring it back? Which sets you up for a side quest. Uh, a couple side quests, actually, that we'll uh, get into when we get into them. Tattle, and you, young one of the altered shape. I have always loved this this voice line, or not voice line, but just this text line. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. I am the great fairy of magic. I thought that masked child was helping me, and I grew careless. All I can offer you now is this. I shall grant you magic power as a sign of my gratitude. Please accept it. There's a lot of sentimentality in this game for me. That uh, when they become pertinent, I'll talk about the finer points of that. But just... Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time have always held a special place in my heart. More so because of my past. Like, a lot of the sound clips from this game are... And Ocarina as well, because it's just reused assets. Um, just tickle me in a way that not a lot of games do. Uh, so the game was telling us how to use magic power. It's our B button while we're in this shape, at least. The man who lives in the observatory outside town may know of the Skull Kid's whereabouts, but be careful. You must not underestimate that child's powers, kind young one. If you are ever... If you are returned to your former shape, come see me. I shall give you more help. All right. 
Let us away now. There's some things that I can do. This is what is known now that we have magic. We can get on with the questing. I can actually probably do the rest of this first day sequence within the 30 minutes. I mean, like, we're at 22, 21 and a half minutes on the uh, time from what I'm seeing. Actually, probably 21 minutes because there's like a good 30 seconds at the beginning I'm going to have to cut out. But I could probably get done with this whole first sequence by the 30 minute mark. <laughs> we bombers have a hideout that leads to the observatory outside town. How convenient. That's where I'm trying to go. You need a code to get in. Maybe I'll tell you what it is. But don't think you're getting it that easily. I can't just tell you what the code is. You have to pass my test first. Are you ready? All right, Jim, you're on. All right, guys, line up. If you can find all five of us by tomorrow morning, I'll teach you the code. Are you ready? So, it's a game of hide and seek. Now, I don't need my Deku nuts, but uh, if you had a bit of difficulty finding these guys uh you can throw your deku nuts at them it will stun them and uh then you can just catch them the old-fashioned way come here jim you caught me now there are only three left so i don't think there's one in south clock town but there are two here in north clock town two in west clock town and one here in east clock town he's gonna be up here so if i run over here really quick get him to jump Juked me. Come here, you. I've actually never seen them hide under the boxes before. I know they can, but I've never seen it. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's only one in West Clyde. The other one's here. I forgot he was here. I forgot I thought there were two, and he's hiding up here. I can hear you running around. You old, you old dingus. Come here, you. Now there's only one left, and I know just where he's hiding. What do you want, Tattle? Why do we have to play with these play these stupid brats little games? Come on and hurry up and find them already. There's only 19, 20 left until morning. 19 hours and 20 minutes left until morning. Because this game works on a 24 hour cycle, but not a conventional cycle. It works on a six to six to six to six cycle. 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. is morning. And then 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. is nighttime. Hey, I see you. West Clock Town. All right, while we are down on this side, we can go ahead and talk to the bankerman. Hey there, little guy. Won't you deposit some rupees? Nowadays, even if people have money, they don't deposit any. Nothing, nothing. So for a limited time, I'll give you a special gift based on how much you deposit. For example, if you deposit 200 rupees, you get an item that holds a lot of rupees. So what'll it be? Well, uh, we'll drop some rupees in the bank. That's it? That ain't nothing at all, big spender. But if you say so. Dude, it's all I got. So what's your name? Hmm. CGP, is it? Got it. I won't forget your deposits. Let me stamp you with my special ink. Hey, relax. It doesn't leave any marks and it's not going to hurt. There. Now you'll know when I see you. Or I'll know when I see you. All right, little guy. Now I've got a total of two rupees from you. Come back and deposit some after you've saved up a bunch. I will be doing just that. That is actually mandatory to get some, uh, to get all of the heart pieces, which uh, I will obviously be doing. You're pretty good for a Deku scrub. I'm also pretty short for a stormtrooper, but that's beside the point. If only you were human, then I could give you an original bomber's notebook and make you a member. I don't know why the Stinko Man voice came out. What do you guys think? No way, no scrubs. I guess not. Once we let some in, so, once we let in some kid who wasn't human join our, that's not English. And boy, did we ever regret it. Sorry. But I'll teach you the code, just like I promised. I can tell you only once though, so pay attention. Are you ready? Let's see. Five, two, three, four, one. The entrance to our hideout is in East Clock Town. I'll be going there right now. I already forgot what it was. Five, three, two, four, one, or five, two, three, four, one? Oh my God, I was not paying attention. Five, 
Two, three, four, one. No, oh, okay. Thanks, bud. There's a lot of cool stuff at that guy's place, and uh, yeah, Bomber's Secret Society of Justice Forever. Or whatever, I don't know. I don't get paid. So I was contemplating it. And I might just do this this way. I was thinking about whether or not I wanted to do all of the the first, like the whole first cycle a particular way, and I think I'm going to. I think I'm just going to get it all done at once. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. What do you want, Tattle? I wonder how the astronomer knows the Skull Kid. Whoa, look at the time. We don't even have three days left. I know we don't even have three days left. It's not the biggest deal in the world, Tattle. Remember this guy for later. This little, uh, the Scarecrowman over here. You can see him. There he is. There he is. Look at him. Uh, well, do we want to... I mean, Granny would be faster. Nah, I can do it. I'll be right here. Hello. Well, well, a strange-looking child has joined me today. Are you a new friend of the Bombers gang? Hmm, your manners seem much better than those of your mischievous friend from the other day. <laughs> that ill-mannered troublemaker from the other day said he'd break my instruments. He said he'd steal my moon's tear. There was no stopping him. Even now, just watch him. He's probably causing trouble around the clock tower. Will you gaze into the telescope? Yes, please. I don't know what good looking through a telescope is going to get you, you know, during the day. This is always something I've done at night. It's the moon. Link, don't stare into the sun with a telescope. That can't be good for you. Hey, get back here. Well, something definitely happened. Well, did you find that troublemaker? And that loud noise? What was that? Perhaps another moon's tear has fallen nearby. Go through that door and take a look outside. But I wonder how that troublemaker got on top of the clock tower. The only way up there is through the clock tower door. And that opens only on the eve of the carnival. Thank you for telling us what we need to do, kind sir. Open the door, please, Link. Open the door, please, Link. Reach me with that hand. Reach me, reach me with that hand. He cannot. You got the moon's tear. Its sparkling beauty radiates rather strangely. Uh, now, is there... It's on the outside, isn't it? It's not on the inside. Yeah, on the inside is a Sheikah stone. Because I think if I look, there's a Deku flower right over... There isn't one. I could swear there was a Deku flower here. Interestingly, there's no music. I don't know if this has always been a thing. I never paid attention to this until, like, now. There's typically music that plays out here. This is neat that it doesn't spoil it for you. That's really cool. Let's go ahead and uh, make our way down here. Making our way back home. Been a long day. Can't wait to see my fluffy dog. Doodly doodly doo. Uh, so we got Pierre over here. Hey, yo, baby! I'm a silent scarecrow wandering in search of pleasant music. Time will pass in the blink of an eye if you dance with me. If you like, baby, we can forget the time and dance until night. Shall we dance? Uh, yeah, let's dance. Oh, yeah! In that case, forget the time. Let's dance! So every time you dance with the scarecrow... You're going to proceed to the beginning of the next day or night cycle, whichever one comes next. So I'm in a day cycle, so we're going to skip right ahead to the next night cycle. So it is now the night of the first day. Oh yeah, how was it? It went by in an instant, right? I'm still full of energy. If you like, baby, we can forget about the time and dance till dawn. Shall we dance? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and skip all the way to the night of the final day. And when I do, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask.
I am so excited to finally be playing this. I hope you guys sit down and strap in for the ride, because this game is long. So, this is Zergear Plot signing off. I will see you guys then.